617 now, and did you know that it's National Influenza Vaccination Week? Now, the flu isn't just simply a bad cold. It can lead to serious health complications, including pneumonia, bacterial infections, and even death. This morning on Ask a Specialist, we'll talk about who should get the flu vaccine and when with Michael Schweikert, infection preventionist at the Queen's Medical Center. Good morning, Michael, and thanks so much for joining us this Good morning. morning. Thanks for having me. So first off, who should get the flu vaccine? Right, so um, just about everyone aged six months and older um, should get the flu vaccine, especially those at high risk for developing flu-related complications. Mm -hmm. So this includes pregnant women so they can protect themselves and their babies, um, people with chronic health conditions such as those um, with asthma and diabetes, and people with weakened immune systems um, or those living with HIV, AIDS, and cancer. Also, most people with egg allergies can get the flu vaccine, even if they've had a history of severe allergy after exposure to eggs. Um, their health care provider will simply um, observe for symptoms after administering, administering the vaccine. They can also inquire about an egg-free flu vaccine, as there are egg-free options available. Okay, and when should people get vaccinated? Is it too late? So, um, because the timing of the beginning, onset, and peak for every flu season varies every year, mm -hmm. it's difficult to give an exact date as to when they should get vaccinated. But generally speaking, you should get the flu vaccine before flu viruses begin spreading in the community or by um, the end of October every year. So keep in mind it takes about two weeks for your body to develop antibodies. So during that time period, you may still be susceptible to getting the flu. However, as long as there are flu va viruses spreading in the community, it's never too late to get flu um, vaccinated against the flu. Now, I know there's a lot of misconceptions out there because a lot of people think, I get the flu if I get the flu vaccine. Now, is that possible? So the short answer is no. Flu vaccines cannot give you the flu. Um, they're made from inactivated viruses or from genetic material. So um, they're designed to evoke an immune response without causing infection. So if you do experience mild but short-lived symptoms such as low-grade fever, headaches, muscle aches, soreness, that just means your body is developing antibodies so it can fight flu in the future. And the big question is how can you prevent yourself from getting the flu? Right, so um, in addition to getting vaccinated and regularly performing hand hygiene, mm -hmm. you can also wear masks to help prevent the spread of infection, but just make sure you wear the mask properly. So it should cover your nose, mouth, and chin. And then you can also use the metal nose band to help conform it to your face. Um, if you wear it properly, it'll help prevent you from breathing in large droplets that may contain the flu virus. And it'll also help to contain any of your own droplets if you're coughing and sneezing. So just make sure it's nice and yep, snug. Yep, just make sure it's nice and snug um, under your chin, uh -huh. over your nose, and covering your mouth. All right, perfect. Perfect demonstration there. Now, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention provides a lot of information about flu vaccines and preventing the flu. To learn more, you can visit www.cdc.gov backslash flu backslash prevent. Michael, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank and you. Happy holidays. You too. All right, coming up next, Chris will check on your